Hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing Scratch, because I haven't done a Scratch video in seven months, and I've not been on Scratch in seven months. So, let's see if I even remember anything, because remembering my password to this account was already hard enough. So, let's see if I remember anything about Scratch. So, today, I feel like I'm going to try making a game where you... It's like, There's a very old game on the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, it's called Punch-Out, and I think I should try, like, recreating Punch-Out and Scratch, because it seems relatively simple. Okay, now, we're gonna make the play button. Okay, so now that we have this, we do set costume to custom one. Wait, that's custom one, so play button. Set it to play button. Now... Then what you want to do is you want to create a clone of yourself. This is so you don't need to like lag out your scratch project if you have too many sprites. Because now you could just create a clone of myself and then do when I start as clone, switch to um custom one. So now you have two different buttons that can do two different things. So um, I want this to be right there. Yep, right about there. So go to here. We're gonna do a. So there are two the boxing gloves. Okay, so while I was trying to find the boxing glove sprite, I accidentally crashed the game and lost all my progress. So if things look a little bit different, they might look a little bit different because I had to make the whole thing again. But good thing I wasn't very far into the games, into making the game, so I didn't lose too much progress. Okay, so, yeah, not the greatest, but it could be worse. I'm going to end the video here. I will make a part two. So this is what we have so far. This punch out scratch edition. The control button does nothing, but the fight button does. Oh wait, it's not entered space. Yeah, so cool. It brings you to the boxing arena and that's it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. So see you in part two.